awfully phrased Bordoni for you today. In the heat, I have no air conditioning right now. I have the window open, I have a fan blowing in here. It is 84 degrees inside. So I thought I would talk today about playing in the heat. A skill that I am sadly, weirdly good at because I've just had to do it for so long in so many different settings and I've just, I've developed the skill set to deal with it um, through marching band, drum corps, just doing stuff outside and now at Disneyland playing in the heat uh, on a weekly basis at least. So let's talk about the things that matter when playing in the heat. Maybe you haven't done it a lot. Maybe you're in March mid right now and you're just like, wow, how do I deal with this? This sucks. I'll give you a list. Here we go. Number one, drink a ton of water. I know a lot of people say this about a lot of things. Honestly, without drinking a lot of water, without hydrating well in advance of anything you need to be hydrated for, nothing else on this list matters at all. You can't do anything on this list unless you are hydrated. So drink a ton of water just all the time. I have a water bottle. You can tell I've had it for quite some time. Um, it goes everywhere with me and I'm constantly refilling it because I drink out of it all the time. It's that simple. Just drink a ton of water and it doesn't fix all the issues on this list, but it makes all of them way easier if you're just at like 90% hydration all the time and you just never even get to the point where you're like, do I need to drink some water? No, just drink it all the time. A lot of this stuff just kind of goes away. Now, it's really important to note, other drinks don't really count. Uh, soda, pop, Coke, whatever you want to call it. Um, even Gatorade and Powerade, unless you're doing really hardcore stuff outside, getting super sweaty for a long period of time, drum core and really hardcore marching band stuff, it's, it's not really worth drinking the super sugary stuff. It's not going to help you more than water. Water is king. It is emperor over all the other drinks. This is the one that matters. The other ones you can save for fun times. Do not drink them to hydrate. It's not going to be good for you. And watch out for your salt intake. If you're like eating a bunch of fries or dinner and then you try and play afterwards and you're like, wow, this feels so dry and it's like sandpaper. It's the salt. It leaches the moisture right out of your skin and you can't play. So avoid the really salty stuff if you can. I mean, I eat salty stuff too, but I try to watch out and not do it before I need to play. Um, on to more interesting things. I know that's a really boring thing, but like this is the biggest thing that matters in this whole subject. After that, uh, moisturize your face. If you never put anything off your on your face after you wash it, it's probably going to be pretty dry. I use this Neutrogena Men. It doesn't have to be for men. Uh, this could be for anybody. I think my wife uses this too. Triple Protect Face Lotion. Um, I put it on every time I shower and sometimes during the day if I'm feeling dry. Really good stuff and it's got a little bit of sunscreen in it. Just keeps things gelling, right? Keeps things moving. And also, of course, I use Burt's Bees on my lips. I don't put this on or this on very often, um, but I still do it every day, probably once or twice. Um, now, if you're gonna be out in the sun, we'll talk about that in a moment, Wear sunscreen. There's no, uh, if you can't cover things, if you can't be in the shade, if you can't wear a big hat, if you can't wear an SPF shirt, as we call it in drum corps, you have to have sunscreen on. And I mean, everywhere that's gonna get hit by the sun. I know like, if you get a sunburn here, it's not gonna affect your chops. Eh, it will, because your body is going, uh, we got a burn over here. I'm gonna divert resources and, and energy into fixing this burn. And also it hurts and feels like crap. You want to just avoid getting sunburned, avoid getting skin cancer. So wear sunscreen. And I put it all over my face, including this area and my chops. It doesn't taste very good. It doesn't feel very good to play on, but it's way better than getting sunburned. Sunscreen, super important. Do not forget it. I am the survivor of like nearly third degree burns from the sun when I marched drum for, especially my first year. Um, and I cannot say how much it sucked, and I just want you all to avoid that. So wear sunscreen, wear an SPF shirt, wear big hats, wear sunglasses. Just don't get a don't get burned. Now the trombone things that matter, the I guess instrument things it could be baritone or whatever. Um, if you do not have a real embouchure setup, 
and I'm going to separate these into categories of pressure-based smile embouchure, real embouchure. If you do not have a real embouchure, it's not really going to work when it's wet, and that's the big problem. Um, in the heat, you know, like our flesh gets kind of weird and feels different, um, you can still play, but when it gets wet, you cannot use this pressure-based smile embouchure anymore because you're just mashing the horn into the face and it moves around and does different things and it's inconsistent. You just can't play. A real embouchure, it's a little stood off from the teeth just a little bit. There's a little more meat in the way. There's a nice <clears throat> way for things to set up and still buzz, even if it's wet, and you can still play. So you really need to have some form of actual embouchure. I say this having had this forever. For the majority of my playing career, I had this. And so when I, my, my face would get wet or it gets super hot or whatever, I would have such a hard time playing and keeping the horn steady and just like playing a range larger than like a fifth. I think we've all been in this situation. Maybe you can't play loud, you can't play soft. This just feels awful. And that's because you're relying on the pressure and this stuff to make notes happen rather than letting the, the buzz happen and keeping the mouthpiece just the right distance um, on the face. You have to have a real armature to play outside. You can see that some top pros like to play actually wet. They'll lick the rim of their mouthpiece before they put it on their face. Watch Denson Paul Pollard in his videos, and in every one he goes, and he plays really, really well because he has a very well-formed armature. He knows exactly what he's doing, and he just likes to play wet. And those of us who do this or used to do this are like, oh, wow, can't even imagine wanting to play that way because it's nearly impossible if you have that pressure-based, left bicep, smile-based embouchure. It just doesn't work, and you need to have this. Um, and another thing that happens when we're outside, say it's like 100 degrees and you have to play, it's hard to breathe because your body is going, whoa, 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 whoa. This air is hotter than our core body temperature is. Why are we breathing this in? I, I don't like this. This is going to do bad things for our health probably. But you have to breathe in order to play. And so you kind of have to fight the body a little bit to get those nice full breaths when you play. If you have a good armature like we talked about, um, but you are just going and getting these tiny little breaths, it doesn't matter. You're going to destroy your face. You're going to be so tired um, because you're not funding enough air to keep things set. So in order of importance, water so important don't drink other drinks watch your salt intake um, moisturize your face uh, yes moisturize your face sunscreen spf shirt get in the shade wear hats that kind of stuff and then you have to have a real embouchure one that can actually do things in all conditions not just 72 degrees air conditioned sitting down conditions and you'll be able to play in the heat like I do all the time, including right now. I'm gonna keep practicing, it's 85 degrees in here right now, and I'm just gonna keep playing, and it's not gonna feel great, but I'm still gonna make progress. That's all I got for today. Uh, hopefully next time I see you, I have air conditioning. Please, bye-bye.